All right, everybody, before we get started today, as per usual, uh, I just want to thank everyone who has been leaving comments, who has subscribed, new subscribers. Uh, I also want to uh, thank everyone who's left reviews and people who sent me DMs, anyone who feels like reaching out on social media, I always respond. Uh, I mean, obviously within reason, don't say something inflammatory. Um, but uh, yeah, and uh, if you leave a five-star review, we'll read it on the podcast, as you'll hear uh, pretty soon here. Um, but for now, please welcome yourself to the, the Rob, Rob Show. All right, everybody, welcome to the podcast once again, Andrew Yerman Glazer. Comedian, hilarious. Um, Andrew, before we get started, I'd like to reward my listeners that have left five star reviews. So we're going to read some. Uh, I'll start. This one is from uh, Cornwallis8. He says, I love the podcast. I can't wait till the next episodes come out. When are you going to have a Patreon? Uh, Cornwallis, thank you for leaving that. I uh, am not sure if or when I'm going to have a Patreon. Right now, I'm just enjoying doing the podcast. Uh, Andrew, go ahead and read the one that's on your lap there. Uh, this is from uh, Doolittle22. Mm -hmm. uh, Doolittle says, Rob, yeah. really, really, really love the podcast. Feel strongly about how much I love it. Please start releasing five episodes a week. Wow. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, five lot. episodes would be really hard. It's hard enough to release one episode a week. So Five's a lot. Yeah. He wants you basically to work a, a full-time podcast. Mean, you know, which I guess one day, but I even feel like even if I was able to. You wouldn't it, want to? Yeah, I wouldn't want five. This is not a five-day a week podcast. No, this, you feel, you could do five episodes in two days, though, and then... Well, You're, then parse then, them out. Exactly. Yeah, and I'm not gonna, producers yeah, yeah. release. All right, yeah. I'll read this next one. This one is from Elephant Boy. Hey, mm. Elephant Boy. He says, the Rob Stern Show gets five stars, so he'll read this review. I don't like his hats. Okay. Uh, it's nice he didn't take off a star for well, that. Well, I won't read it if they don't put five stars. Uh, and they know that. They gotcha. said, I'll read anything as long as it says five stars. Gotcha. Uh, Elephant Boy, that was not very nice. I like my hats. Andrew, read that next one. Great. Um, this is from Elephant Boy uh, Two. What? No, Elephant Boy Two. Was there? Was your number on it was yours? Eight. Eight. Okay, so this is pre. Yeah. Uh, this says uh, this is a five star review. Uh -huh. uh, Rob, your hats are fucking stupid. All right. What, I mean, it's clearly one guy. I don't. know. Why do you say that? This is that's. This is two. I think you read eight. What do you, you think that? What are the chances that there's two elephant boys commenting on my two separate elephant boys one and three you mean one and eight because there's <laughs> eight and two so uh, yeah <laughs> i mean I don't know. the chances are pretty good all right i'll, I'll read uh, this one then you read one more okay um this one is from square root of fuck Oh, yeah. Okay. I know you could curse in your usernames. Square Root of Fuck says, Five stars. I really like Rob's jiggly belly. That's nice. I, th I appreciate it. Uh, you know, yeah, I guess I got to just take whatever people are willing to yeah. enjoy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And uh, just read that last one. This is uh, Queen Blizzard. A Queen uh, Blizzard said, Love the podcast. Rob, you're great. Uh, when is Andrew going to come on again? I love him. I love Andrew Yerman Glasser. Uh, he's fantastic and great. Have him back on. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, I like this person. Yeah, I'm of assuming. course you do. They want you to come on. I, I'm just saying it's better. Yeah. I mean, you probably like him too. They didn't insult your yeah, hat. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Or talk about my body. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. That's nice of them. All right, I got to take what I can. Thanks, yeah. Andrew. Yeah. Well, thank Queen. Um, yeah, Queen Blizzard. What? Blizzard. Yeah, Queen Blizzard. Okay. Cool. Um, so we're. Uh, I'm going to play for you. I've been uh, scrolling through and listening on YouTube. You can find all these obscure award shows. Okay. Uh, this one is called the Children's Book Illustrator Awards, which is pretty interesting. So I'm just playing clips from it because I feel like part of my 
duty as a podcast host is to introduce my audience to new and interesting things. Um, they, uh, this is just a clip from the Children's Book Illustrator Awards, which is uh, interesting. Hold on a second here. Mm-hmm. And now, accepting the award for Best Drawn Animals. The artists from the book David the Elephant Plays Bunny Basketball. Come on up here, you two artists. All right, go ahead and take the mic there and Go ahead. Here's your award. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, thank you, thank you. Please, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, talking doesn't even feel right right now because, as you know, of course it doesn't. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Clearly, my brother Michael and I are very happy to win this award. Uh, you know. Um, uh, we would have been happier to uh, not have uh, wasted our money with that Ponzi scheme that my brother convinced us to invest in. I don't know why I'm bringing this up I, now. Me I just, either. I, uh, also, okay. Yeah. Who doesn't want apricots that you can take on an airplane and and? No one. It didn't exist. It's air, airplane apricots. Yeah, that's it's so just apricots. You know, we won this award. Clearly, we had a success going. We were on our way to making some great money, and I trusted you, and uh, this award means shit to me now because I can't afford my fucking mortgage. You think I wanted to blow $4 million, you piece of shit? I kind of think you did. Airplane apricots would have gone somewhere if you could get your freaking mind behind it a little and contribute instead of just tear me down. Contribute? I'm the one who drew all of the fucking pictures in this book. That's right, folks. I'm the one who drew all the fo- all the pictures wow. in this in this book. My brother Michael Oh, yeah? Yeah. What did you do? You colored them in? Yeah. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? Like, that's not poor. What, like, people want black and white dr- bubble drawings? Oh, uh, look, everybody's getting upset. Quiet down, folks. We're, Stop. We're All gonna, right, we're, we're going to calm gonna, down. We're going to thank some people. Give us a second. I want right. to, can I thank someone? Yeah, honestly, go ahead. Go ahead. Right, right. Go ahead. Hey, hey I want to apologize for the outburst. Obviously, I just uh, checked my bank account and it triggered something, and that was really, uh, I wish I hadn't. What did it trigger? You. The, my sadness and uh, not having Oh, you money. looked. I yeah, see. Yeah, okay. yeah, I shouldn't have. Can I just thank someone? Yeah, go ahead. Tim Tripoli, mm-hmm. uh, the CEO of Airplane Apricots. I just want to say, You're I know this wasn't shit. your fault. Oh, what? You're a piece of shit, I Michael. just want to say. I always hated you. I always Come hated on. you. Come <laughs> on. Right, hey, what, folks. Come funny? on. I'm being serious. Don't be. Who are you booing? Who? Me or Michael? I all think right. they're booing you. You think they're booing me? Yeah. Well, you know what? Fuck all of you. <laughs> and uh, Michael, um, good luck with your apricot investments or whatever the fuck. Our investments. Yeah. All right. Well, we hope we'll see you guys next time for the sequel. Yeah. <laughs> well, that got out of hand really quick. Yeah. That was wild. Yeah. Um, here's an ad for a scenic helicopter tour experience. It's right. on your lap right there. Just go ahead and read the copy once the music starts. Okay. Nope. Hi there. Do you like flying but don't trust planes because you can't see any part of it that's lifting you off the ground? Well, do we have the... Uh, flight mode of transportation for you. That's the helicopter. Mm. You, you look. You got a duck when you get in because you see exactly how this thing's moving. It's moving with 
helicopter blades and they're moving fast they'll cut off your head or an arm if you stick it in don't do that but what you should do is get inside the helicopter and it'll lift you off the ground you can see it exactly how you're being lift off the ground it's the same thing actually it's the it's lift that's going way into um, it doesn't explain what the tour is anyway uh, do you guys also also like looking at stuff because we got windows we're gonna take you around Don't town. All helicopters have windows and not all helicopters have windows oh. is <laughs> something you should know because okay. our helicopters got it's all window Ooh, that doesn't sound yep safe. even the blades are Glass? tiny windows oh that's so a- you can see everything even through the blades that are keeping you in the air going around and stuff because remember tested? is it like a safe because remember this is you see exactly how you get off the ground here uh, with us with um is that the mirror, slogan with it's like four sentences <laughs> yep <laughs> that's right uh here at uh everything's glass helicopters tours you're gonna see yourself get off the ground you're gonna love it uh come be our very first customers the who first test, customer who test, yeah right who test this out. test it why would they even say that you're testing it not fda approved well why would it? it's not food there's <laughs> there's there's airplane apricots on board so get oh, ready Jesus. <laughs> uh, we're calling stuff back already <laughs> It's that type of show, folks. We got Andrew Yerman Glaser here. Glasser, Glazer, Glasser. His name is Glasser. <laughs> and I know that because we've been friends for over a decade. Um, oh, Andrew, we got a phone call here. Awesome. We're coming yeah. up on probably 20 years, Rob. I know. It's crazy. It makes me happy oh. and sad. Oh, crap. Oh, so, Andrew, I forgot to tell you, uh, I have a magic phone here. Oh. Yeah. And uh, sometimes we get uh, phone calls uh from special people uh usually related in some form to them and this appears to be a call from trey anastasio oh, wow the... the lead singer of fish yeah. all right hold on the one second Let's, uh... hello hello you're on the rob stern show hello hello hey hello hey What's up, man? I don't think this is Trey Anastasia. <laughs> what? Who is this? <laughs> this is Andrew Yerman Glasser. I'm a big fan. Oh, man, it's me. It's it's Trey Anastasia. Hey, are you smoking or something? What's going on? What are on? you talking about? You know I'm clean and sober. Uh, uh, it's great to... Uh, d- uh, well... I heard you're a big fan. That's why I'm calling in. I am a huge fan. Yeah, what's your favorite song? I mean, come on. That's crazy. I can't even choose. All right, well, give me give me at least like one of your favorite songs. I mean, I can't. I'm hoping to uh, hear you play Fluffhead next time oh, I see Fluffhead, you. Fluffhead, that's a great song. You know, we wrote that on a... Uh, uh, hang glider did you yeah you know we're real weird like that I, totally yeah we jumped off a cliff me and the other guys yeah, yeah. your other the the other people in the band yeah. yeah yeah i mean i know who they are yeah we all know who they are right. no reason to say their names i'll say their names in a minute no, but... i don't need to say their names okay. i'm trey anastasio okay anyways so we jumped off a hang glider and that's when i wrote Fl- fluffy boy <laughs> what you wait oh no, I'm sorry. I want to hear you play Fluff Head, but I'm... Oh, no, no. Fluffy Boy's a new song that we got. Oh, I'm cool. sorry. I just spoiled that. And you guys wrote it while on hang gliders? Uh, yeah, we were on hang gliders. I wrote the song and... Uh, Why? I, uh, Are you, do you have a guitar when you're doing that? Oh, you know it. I always got a guitar. I got a mini guitar that uh, Shaman built for me. Oh. Yeah, it fits in my pocket. Okay. And then when I pull it out, it gets bigger. I don't know how that works, but uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty weird. That's in, in, I made. It, I, w- I went to the Himalayas. You know, I've traveled the world, and uh, I I went up to the mountains and met this shaman. I said, he said, "What what do you want most out of life?" I said, "I want to be able to play the guitar wherever I am." I wasn't able to bring my guitar up here because my backpack would be too heavy. And he said, "Well, your wish is granted, but uh, you'll pay a price." And I don't know what that part meant, but the, immediately I had this guitar that I could fit in my pocket. But you've never out. paid a price of any sort that you can admit? Well, I mean, um, hmm. I guess there's a couple of things that have happened. Uh, well, so when I came home, tell me if this sounds like it happened. So I get, I saw Grandma Anastasio, you know, my grandma. <laughs> and when I came home, she had uh, half her head had been turned into gold. 
Yeah, she said it's... she fell into a smelter. I'd say that's. You think that's part of it? Yeah. That's what I was wondering. But then, then I I asked uh, the rest of the band. They said I was being crazy. Who do you ask in the band? Well, you know the guys. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, okay. You yeah, asked all, all of them. Guys. Yeah, ask all. The other three. We're always hanging out. You yeah. asked. You asked Mike. Yeah. Paige. Yeah. John. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Winston, but you don't know Winston. No, who's He's Winston? He's the secret member of Fish. There's, a, we'll, yeah. there's another member. Yeah, but we'll talk about that some other time. What do I don't they have play? Much time for that. Um, they play, uh, well, they play uh, the the vibes. The vibes. Of, you know oh. when you're really enjoying the vibes at a concert? I do, almost every concert. That's Winston. There. Oh. Yeah. He's, he's great, great then. I yeah, like him. Yeah, he's fantastic. He might be the heart of the band. Uh, he's a ghost, but we'll get into that some other time. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Trey, you know how they say don't meet your heroes? Yeah, this yeah. is the opposite, right? Yep, this is the opposite. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is, is, this is again. awesome. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I got to go eat some gravel. Okay, what? So, wow, all of, that was fucking nuts. That phone's amazing, Rob. Yeah, I mean, uh, that was pretty incredible. It was really nice of him to call I, in. I don't um, think I want to see the band anymore. Really? Just from that interaction? Yeah, that made me feel sad and weird. Uh, in what way? What was I don't it? know. I don't think Trey's doing well, and I don't think... His... Yeah, yeah, it felt like there's a lot of unsaid stuff. Right. I mean, I didn't want to interrupt with your hero, you know? So I'll be honest, see. too. Like, I don't know if he knew, knows the names of the other band members. Yeah, it sounded like he had forgotten them, which would be really sad. Right. Yeah. You know, he had a lot of years of drug use and stuff. Sure, but I thought he was doing you could, really I feel like well. Would, I think he's probably... He sounded happy. Yeah, he did sound happy, yeah. right? Um, so uh, we're going to give some advice now. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a child. So yes. uh, we got some advice uh, asking, uh, related to children. Right. Uh, Triple Duck asks, I need advice for being a school mom now. LOL. Like tips and hacks for stuff like packing lunch and getting them ready. Now, I know your daughter is not there yet, but have you thought about uh, what you will do to get her lunch ready when she's like in elementary school? Well, we do meals, so I, okay. I feel like we're kind of kind of do a that. version of that. What's a lunchtime meal that you enjoyed as a kid that you think you're going to pass on I, to? I just the other day had an egg salad sandwich, and I said to my wife, I could eat an egg salad sandwich every single day you're gonna load her up with egg salad sandwiches pretty much i yeah. can i didn't get i feel like there's an age where you could get made fun of for your smelly sandwich <laughs> yeah but but i agree i mean i'm always happy to eat an egg salad sandwich i first of all totally egg salad and good egg stinky. salad though sure yeah as I mean, it's the same with tuna tuna and egg salad are the like a flip of the coin it's like delicious sandwich that smells that's really stinky yeah yeah no egg salad wouldn't. in particular i feel like early on no one's ragging on like a tuna stink. no no but egg salad because you can't until you see the sandwich right. you're just smelling farts right basically yeah um yeah so, but I agree. I mean, it would be nice to treat her to that well, before she reaches that age. Right. And give her unlimited, like my mom wouldn't give it to me every day. Oh, okay. You can't eat egg salad every single day for some reason, even though I guess you kind of can. You right? probably can, but I, I understand like mayo, trying to get, well, right. it's also like you want to keep your kid get, doing something new. I think you want to keep your kid get, getting a varied getting used to eating varied foods sure. so they don't become like i only eat this thing sure um let's move on uh golf punter asks i want to introduce my kid to action movies <laughs> that aren't for kids where should i start die hard die hard is the first like you could explain that to a kid you feel like yeah i, mean, I feel like terminator might be too scary too but i feel scary. like too scary but i feel like it would, it would also be the easiest to kind of ex lane and hold I mean, their interest what are you talking about it's very complex i guess like yeah. in the future ai becomes like that's uh, true but i was just gonna be like the robot came back to kill all them and they have to get away from the robot i feel like terminator is massively it, okay it, the, literally the concept of terminator is he goes mm -hmm. in forward in time or back in time to yes. impregnate his woman all right to you prove, make you his prove son me wrong. you prove me who's wrong. gonna run the it's just yeah 
Terminator is not. Congrats. Thank you. Really you shot me down. No, I just uh, no, want to. You, you made a fool. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to I make a fool. I, I want it. everyone to know how great Terminator is as yeah. a movie. Yeah. yeah. And Terminator right. 2. Right. They're great movies. Um, we go now. You're going to try and uh, have your kid watch a movie, um, but you got to hide it from the mom because she okay. doesn't want to watch it. That's what my wife, it? you mean? Yeah, your wife. I mean, it doesn't have to be your life. We can just have it be. That's it. What what movie are we watching, Dad? This is Roadhouse. We uh, starring Patrick Swayze. Okay. Um. Uh, You're gonna love it. Yeah. It's what's the what's the guy? What. Did he just grab that guy's throat? Yep, that's right. He ripped it out. Oh, my God. Movie magic. Oh, my God. Is this funny? Andrew, I'm home. It's your wife. Hi, little lady. <laughs> what, what the hell are you? Are you watching? It, uh, no, we're just watching. You're watching Roadhouse? Yeah, it was on TV. You're showing our child Roadhouse? Yeah, it was on TV. They're four years old. This is unacceptable. Come on. No, no, not no. come on. This Tilly, isn't nothing. Come on. Yeah. Come here. It, get, don't don't, don't here. pat your lap at come me. Come here. Come here. Did sit, you go to work today? Sit. Was I supposed to go to work today? Aren't you supposed to go to work every day? Isn't what? I took the day off. I don't. What is that? What is that woman doing? She's. Oh my God! Turn it off. No, turn it off. Hold on. Turn it off. What's the problem? Turn. Yeah, come here. This, this is disgusting. Stop, stop patting your lap like come I'm here. some dog. No, Jesus come on. Christ. Just sit next to me. Oh. oh. What does that mean? Oh, what? Did you make a mistake? Are you. What's happening right now? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> we came out of that, didn't we? Look, we're stronger now. Whoa. <laughs> Um, yeah, this movie is screwing me up, Dad. Come on. I mean, she just said it's screw. I'm turning it off. Fine. Okay. Fine. Um, we'll still come just, over here, though. No, stop head. patting your lap. I'm on. not in the mood. I'm Pat, not come in the mood. On. Come on. I'm not in the mood. Fine. I'm not in the mood either now. I, I'm not in the mood either. What are we talking about? Nothing. Oh, jeez. Uh, you want uh, pot pie for dinner? Uh, is it frozen or are you going to make it? I'm a, you think I'm going to make a fresh pot pie? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. I just got home from work myself. I'm exhausted. Okay. I, I was so going to throw the frozen pot pie. So no the, on the fresh pot pie. Has Have I ever made fresh pot pie? When I, I, I guess not. Now that I think about it, no. You're right. I am unhappy. You're unhappy? Yeah. Jesus. What do you mean, Jesus? Is <laughs> You're that unhappy? That, what? That's that surprising to you? I mean, if anybody should be unhappy, it's me. Why? You don't go to work. You ask me to bake your fresh pot pies every dinner. Fresh pot pies would be amazing, wouldn't they? <laughs> what? Stop fighting. Fine. Uh, oh, look at that. We're stronger. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Uh, having fun. Um, all right, Andrew, you got to read. Uh, uh, we do do segments on the show, as you know. You're going to read the uh, news report uh, on the science update. So this is just the latest in science news. And uh, go ahead and sorry, go ahead. Good evening, folks. This is Mark Hamill, and Mark we're... Mark Hamill from Star Wars? <laughs> Not that Mark Hamill. Oh, it's a different Mark Hamill. Oh, my God. Every time I say it, it makes me laugh. You're probably at your couch right now looking at me saying that's not mark hamill but i am i'm just a different mark hamill we're the same when he says his own name <laughs> it's just I feel like that funny. would get old <laughs> hey jesus get it together mark uh, it's just you thinking of you guys at home doing that is <laughs> fun to me <laughs> Jeez, this guy's having way too much fun oh, oh my god <laughs> he's still laughing about his own name I mean, he's got to be at least 
like almost 40. I am he's well gotta, over. <laughs> he's gotta be used to his own name by now. I'm very used to my name. I just wanna let you know that it's the thought of you at home enjoying the me saying it. All um, right, folks, thanks for tuning in today to channel four. Uh, this is <laughs> suck his teeth. The fuck. This is Mark Hamill. <laughs> oh, no, he's losing the <laughs> on his own name. Nothing. Jesus Christ, this guy. <laughs> Get it together, Mark. Uh, we've got a. <laughs> <laughs> we've got the science update for you. Do we still have time? Mark, this is uh, Tom uh, Tom Sawyer. Tom <laughs> <I'm> Sawyer. <sorry. laughs> Holy fuck! Uh, I mean, I'm the anchor over here. Uh, we gotta we gotta get it together. Mark. We're, <laughs> we're running out of time. Wait, uh, so how long do I have? I don't know. I'm you, losing it. Oh my god! <laughs> my ladies, name's Tom Sawyer. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Sawyer. <laughs> Can you give me a time frame at the end here? <laughs> uh, that's it. We're, we're that's done. It? Yeah. Stay tuned for basketball. Thanks, folks. guys. Man. It feels like that um, news channel just hired people with other people's famous names. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. They didn't, they didn't need it's... any um, experience or pre yeah. of their education. Yeah. It's not their fault. I mean, it is their fault that they have been on the air for years and can't get over laughing at their own name, but right. But he was pretty clear um, that it wasn't the fact that his name was Mark Hamill, but let me ask you, Andrew, is there something that isn't a crime, but you think it should be? Yes. Okay. Um, when, like, um, people wronging me, people wrong. <laughs> yeah. People, wronging me, people wronging. Yeah. You. Just, just little, just I should be able to put people in jail. What's like, so how does somebody wrong you, man, driving, driving and honking or something at me. Okay. Or just on the road or, okay. Or, um, um, tell telephone interactions. Um, I almost like got, telephone interactions wrong to you. How does that with, how, like, just if I'm interacting with a person, uh, and, and, and these are people you don't know personally correct. you're saying like when right. somebody is just being rude to you or trying to pay the up, bill and they're giving how, me how much time. time should they do if they like give me an like, example somebody honks weeks, at you on the road honks at me on the road and, and i'm not doing anything you didn't wrong. Do it, like they're do they're just being three obnoxious. weeks in jail three weeks in jail okay yeah got it so we cut to the trial um order order um, Andrew, you uh, have uh, filed a. Um, you have uh, um, ordered this uh, old woman uh, to be uh, sentenced for three weeks to prison because she honked at you. Huh? That's right, Your Honor. All right, all right. Order, order. Everybody, calm down. Um, Mrs. Uh, McGillicuddy, please come up to the stage and uh, I mean the uh, the stand. <laughs> the stand. I know what I'm doing. Um, look, I used to be a Broadway actor. Yes, we know. Uh, I know. I sorry. I used to be yeah. a Broadway. Your okay, honest. sorry. I'm sorry. Let's take this seriously. Um, all right, uh, come up to the stand, Miss McGillicuddy, and uh, Andrew, go ahead and uh, you can, uh, you know. I'm cross examining. You're cross examining. Miss McGillicuddy. Yes. On the day in question, August the 2nd, were you indeed driving behind me in a Mazda? Yes, I was driving in my Mazda. I've Your Honor, are you putting makeup on right now? I feel a bit shiny. Okay. Ignore me, please. Miss <sighs> McGillicuddy, yes. did you honk at me? I may, I I honked at you, but hear me out. I thought you, uh, I thought you had flipped me the bird. And uh, I realize now that that wasn't the case. And um, 
t- I, Your Honor, she just admitted pretty much to doing the thing. I'm well, accusing. I'm also hoping you'll be compassionate to an old woman and no. How old are you? I'm 94. You're 94? I'm 94. Do you live on your own? I do. I have two cats. Oh. I, uh, you know, live on a pension, so. Do you have friends who can take care of your cats? No, my friends are dead. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> I hope you leave some food out for your cats. Oh, my God. No, please. Miss McGillicuddy, it looks like, uh, I mean, you did just admit to the crime. Right. Uh, and being wrong about yeah, why you and, did it. I mean, honestly, Andrew, this is a cruel, um, this feels cruel. I it mean, is cruel. I agree, honestly. <laughs> it doesn't feel good anymore. So she can go? Yeah, fine. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, There's let me never just an old lady. get out of here. Always a jerk. I'm going to go ahead and get into my car and drive off. Hey, careful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Miss McGillicuddy. Is there a truck coming? Holy oh, truck. Oh, oh Miss McGillicuddy. You think she's okay? <laughs> I don't know. That that sounded pretty bad. We're out of it. Oh. We're out of the scene. We are? Yeah. Why I not? can't take my mind off of it. <laughs> you no. feel bad for Miss McGulloch? Yeah, she's dead. Uh, you know, we don't know who she was. Maybe she was a bad person. You're right. Maybe, we don't, I mean, maybe she was, old, she was uh, she wasn't bad at some point. Maybe um, she was pro apartheid or something. Uh, Andrew, you've been sent back in time to pro-apartheid. Yeah, that's what we'll tell her. Uh, 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 You've been sent back in time to talk to the 11-year-old kid version of yourself and give you some advice. So you might hear that old kid voice again. (laughs) You mean that weird robot? I don't know what you're talking about. It sounds normal to me. Here we go. Andrew. Uh, what? Oh my. Andrew. Oh my, oh my God, I'm just, Stop. I'm just sleeping. What is, what is this? I know you're jerking off. I'm There's not, a, okay, yeah. yes. Who the fuck are you? I'm you. What? I'm you from the future. No, yes. that's not possible, but you have the same nose. That's really? fucked up. <laughs> really? That? First of all, I, you, I would never say that. Just some asshole would fucking say that. <laughs> Can you pay attention for two seconds? Because I don't sorry, have long. Sorry, sorry. I had I gotta I'm playing get... Game Boy. I didn't. Um, okay. Hold yes. on. You motherfucker. We never had a Game Boy. No. This isn't the real me. Uh, I, I, it's actually a, a piece of cardboard I pretend is a Game Boy. Uh, it's very sad. Wait, I should have known that because it was my child. Let's not get into the specifics of this reality. This is less complex than Terminator. <laughs> just so you know. Less what does that complex. have to do with anything? I've got... Are you still calling stuff back? I thought I would hope we would have quit that by your age. (laughs) Calling things back? Yeah. Why? Because it's a thing you grow out of? Yeah, I was Why is my voice like a kid? I'm thinking there's just an echo. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. Anyways, so what are you doing in my bedroom? It's 2 a.m. Just buy Bitcoin. What? Buy Bitcoin. What what is a Bitcoin? It's going to be a future currency. It's going to be worth nothing you can buy a bunch and then we'll be rich just please do it okay okay great that's um, it um any other questions life will yeah, be you perfect said buy c- 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 co- coin bits bitcoin you're gonna when it comes up it'll you'll remember this bitcoin of do you course. want me to write it down yeah, yeah write, write it down. down great do you have any pencil or paper um yeah, yeah right, right here. here this is a crayon and that's not paper, it's a book. What, what the, the fuck, fuck do you want from me? I'm okay, a kid. Okay, you're right. You're a fucking idiot. We're both idiots. Fucking big nose idiots. You <laughs> goddamn asshole. Here, Bitcoin. There you go. Got it. Can All right. you read it? Yeah. What does it say? I can't read it. You can't, <laughs> great. Because I had to be sent back to 11 and I couldn't read at 11. <sighs> I'll try and remember. Okay, what is it then? I, you, you said, said something, something about, about coins. Bitcoins. Don't, please don't just Bits buy coin. as many coins as you can. I will buy some coins. No. <laughs> Bitcoin. Okay. Okay. Got it. We're just going to be poor forever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, uh. Oh. Yeah. 
No, nothing. Oh, go ahead. I thought I was still there. Oh, yeah, you are still there. I've, you're you're still here. Me. What's I, up? I've got two more hours. I just, we got to kill two hours. Right? Oh, oh, until, until the, the time machine. machine. Yeah. Oh, so you do get it. Yeah, yeah I'm not, I, mean, I mean, I've, I've heard, heard of like, you know, know sci-fi, sci-fi stuff, stuff and clearly you're me, so... You know, as a kid, you're more willing to accept stuff right away rather than... Can we just not talk? And just For two hours? hours? Yeah. That's, That's going to be weird. weird. Is it? Yeah, just, just sit here in silence? Better than us interacting? Are you rolling a joint? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What's what? What do you mean, what the fuck? <laughs> we smoke? Yeah, we smoke. Okay. What's, is that a problem? I hope you don't listen to... Fish. I fucking love fish. Oh, uh, no. I became my worst nightmare. Is that your worst nightmare? <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah, you blow it. I mean, I'm you, but I'm still an 11 year old and you're blowing marijuana smoke. I don't understand face. what everyone's got with fit. What's the problem? I don't, I don't think, think it. it. It's just, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. You either like it or you don't. Right. It's a vibe. Um, I, I guess, guess I'll, I'll uh, just can't jerk off with you here, so. You, you don't want to talk? Are you you can't, you, you want to jerk off, jerk off. No, no that, that is, is fucked up. up. Why? That is it's fucked what up. Are you that's about? fucked up. What are you shit. talking about? Yeah, no, that's fucked it's up. It's not fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. It doesn't do anything for me. What? It's me. <laughs> that's a fucked up shit. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> that's fucked up. I get, what, Why? <laughs> Wow, that was wild. I don't think it was fucked up. <laughs> um, that kid was right. weird. It was me. Let's. Well, um, oh, this is an ad. We have another ad. Okay. Yeah, this is for a. There's a lot of ads. You must be making. I only get resume. two ads. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to get more. So anybody who wants to reach out for sponsorship, let me know, and I'm open to it. Uh, this is for a trendy coffee shop. Hi there. Welcome to Horses. This is <laughs> Horace speaking, and I own a horse's coffee shop. Uh, you say, okay, Horace, uh, can I just get a tall latte <laughs> um, with almond milk? I bet you're talking into your radio right now. What? That's because this is an advertisement. You're listening to an advertisement. Oh. I just said. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I just s- want a coffee. What's going on? I said, hi, thing? I'm Horace, but you thought, oh, I could go for some coffee right now sitting in your living room. Uh, No, I'm in part of the ad. Oh, you're part of the yeah. ad. Oh. Yeah. The ad is someone coming up and buying coffee. For- At a trendy coffee shop. I mean, that's the whole point of the ad. <laughs> I see. Is everything okay, Horace? Yeah, it's fine. You thought you were doing old timey radio. I thought I was doing all right, a fucking all right, ad. All right, sorry. I'll get out of here and let's get you some old timey radio. No, here. no, come yeah. back in. No, no, it's old timey no, radio. Keep the commercial. motion picture things rolling. No, 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 no. definitely old timey radio commercial. Here we go. Hello. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. This is Jerome, and I've got something you're going to enjoy. It's a cup of Joe from Jerome. Joe's Jerome. Jerome, Jerome's Joe. Come down to Main Street and have the best cup of coffee you've ever had in your life. We get our beans all the way from Costa Rica. That's right. Costa Rica. I don't know if I appreciate that. It's the 1920s here, and I want us to buy American. To give you an idea of what I go through to get these coffee beans, mm. I send a team of six men down. It takes them three months to reach Costa Rica. And usually, two of them die. Uh. But we get those beans because they're the best in the world for making coffee. And this coffee will wake you up, and it tastes delicious. Well, the most important thing is whether Horace uh, supported World War I. Now, you may know my brother Horace. This is Jerome speaking of Jerome's Joe. Uh, I'm glad he corrected me. Now, my brother Horace was a... was a, going off on Horace. ...was a famous um, German uh, proponent, a German... 
Uh, what were they called in World War One? Hold on, it'll come to me. I think I'm gonna change the station. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we just get unlimited time for the commercial, okay. and I keep talking. This is nice. Nah, my brother could be an asshole at times. Jerome, time. this is a uh, uh, radio director. You don't have unlimited time. Your we commercials don't. Commercials are almost up. Yeah. Oh. We have other people coming in here. Oh. We have Charlie's flapjacks up next. Oh my yeah. god, delicious flapjacks. Yeah, get you got to get off. I'm sorry. Uh, right now? Yeah, Charlie's flapjacks got to come uh, okay. in and talk about those uh, flapjacks. Go to Charlie's flapjacks, but uh, also Jerome's Joe's. Oh, okay, on great, Jerome. Main Bye. Okay, thank you. All right. Charlie, come on in there. Hello! <laughs> I'm Charlie, and I want you to have a flapjack. <laughs> I don't like Charlie. <laughs> What's the problem? I don't like Charlie. Hey, I've got some syrup for you. Ooh, look at that. Chocolate <laughs> chips in my pockets. Who likes chocolate chips in their flapper jacks? <laughs> Come to Charlie. All right, Charlie, this is the radio director. Your time is up. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, we've got... Uh, uh, well, thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, next, we've got uh, Franny's Auto Parts Store. Franny, come on in. Hello. My name is Francis, and I own Franny's Auto Parts. You ever need a carburetor? Come to Franny's. You need tires? Come to Franny's. You need headlights? Come to Franny's. You need a steering wheel? Come to Franny's. You need a piston? Come to Franny's. You need a bumper? Come to Franny's. You need chairs? Hey, Francis, uh, are, yeah. you, are you going to list every part of the car? You list I every part of, of the car? Is that that I can think of. Okay. You need a uh, front seat? Oh, no. They, you're, you're out of time. That's okay. it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I got a few of them out. I mean, you got a lot of them. All right, and finally, we've got uh, uh, Tompkins uh, Paints. Hello. This is Tommy Tompkins. I'm the fourth generation of uh, t- uh, Tommy's Tom- Tompkins Paints. I we, we, we just want to let everyone know that we support Germany. Wow, no. Thank you. Nah, Tommy, get out of here. What? Yeah, get out of here, Tommy. Hi, Tompkins Paints. Nah, I won't be. Well, and that's our commercials. Back to the old Tommy music. I sometimes wonder what tomorrow... Those are good commercials. Yeah, those were. Those great old Tommy commercials... Not sure how we got there, but we, yeah, we well, did. Co- coffee and... Um, people know that uh, this is a uh, pretty... Uh, when Andrew's on, it's a looser version of the podcast. Uh, what? Nothing? No, no, I'm saying. I say, you know, we're close friends. It sounded and, like an insult. No, no, it's not. I just oh. mean that, like, that is. that is. So I, in that vein, we're just going to do a bunch of improv scenes. Great. Because that's when you're on, that's what we do. We have a little fun. Um, the suggestion for this scene, you're going to have to start each scene. Uh, Great. Uh, the suggestion for this scene is rainy uh, morning. So rainy morning. Uh, Frank, you're 20 minutes late to work again, God damn Oh, jeez. I am so sorry. Uh, you know, I the car wouldn't start this morning, and, uh, Bill, it's just been a rough week. Frank, what's going on? Stop bullshitting a bullshitter. All right, look. I'm starting my own business. What? Yeah. I uh, I can't keep working at this small hardware store. You're not paying me enough. I, I I love working for you. I just Frank, Jesus. That's just what's your business. The way things are. I'm sorry. Uh, it's um, I'm gonna be selling ice cream. I'm opening an ice cream shop. I've always wanted to open an ice cream shop. I know. That's why I waited so long to tell you. I knew you'd be upset, Bill. <sighs> what kind of ice cream? Well. 
We'll have all the flavors there are. All of the flavors? Yeah, we're going to have strawberry, <gasps> chocolate, and vanilla. Oh, that's my three flavor flavors. I mean, that's the only flavor. Can you put them together? Uh, I guess you could mix them. I don't know. I haven't thought about doing that. Y yeah. So um. I can, can I come and sell stuff with you? Ice cream? Frank, how old are you? Me? Yeah. 67. And how old am I? Oh, thank you, miss. <laughs> wow. She thinks I look good for yeah, 67. Yeah, you look great for 67. How old are you? Yeah. 22. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, that's... What's the point that's of that? The, I don't know. That's the story of Frank and Bill. Okay. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> we still got it. We still got it. All right. Next, uh, next uh, suggestion is espresso aroma. And tell us where we are. We're at Jerome's Joe's. No, we're at Jerome's Joe's. All right. So we're in like a coffee, coffee trendy shop coffee a little shop. bit. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Hey, man. What can I get for you? Uh, yeah. Can I get a... Let me get uh, a cappuccino. Next. What? You took too long. No, I didn't. You that took too long. I took two you seconds. You took too long. No, I'm sick of this. You, you guys, do, you do this to me every morning. I want a long. cappuccino. You were in line. Why weren't you thinking about I what was. You I was. I just wasn't prepared when you asked me well, for a what second. The, oh, when you stepped up to the front of the cash register, you didn't know what I was going to ask you? You got to give me a break, man. I need that cappuccino. I'm sick of not having... My coffee I'll in the tell morning. You what, I'll tell you what. Yeah, what do you tell me? Yeah, what do you tell me? Go throwing ahead. Throwing you a charity act right okay, now. Okay, what is it? You can go. You see this 15 person line? Yeah. Go to the end and wait again. Try again. Try it again. Try and wait in line and see. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You don't have to leave. All right, hold on one second. Okay. Let's see. Does it feel good now? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go. To the back of the line, <sighs> but I'm not. I I'm I'm not leaving this time. I'm actually gonna get my cappuccino. Yeah, we'll see. If you can order it, you'll get it. Yeah. Uh, can I order then? Yes. Yeah. Can I I'll have some? a uh, coffee. Wow. You see that? Yeah. It's that easy. What size, my friend? Uh, a uh, 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 get out of oh, here! Oh, jeez. I'm like the <laughs> the soup Nazi yeah, but for coffee. Yeah. Oh boy! Wait, hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna try vintage vinyl. Give me a suggestion. Vintage vinyl. Where are we? Wait, give me. It's in vintage me, vinyl. Vintage postage. vinyl is a suggestion. Where are we though? You gotta tell me this. Um, we're at a vintage. We're at like a record. Uh, like you know, a, like a, a record, a store? secondhand store. Cool. That has records. Yeah. Hey, Tommy, man. Did you see that we got uh, a whole shipment of Neil Diamond records? Stop it! Yeah, man, it's crazy. That's awesome. I know. I was like, I was like, I was telling people all last week we don't have any Neil Diamond anymore. We just got like twenty records. Holly, man. holy, holly, holy. Do you know that song? No, man. It's great, man. Neil yeah. Diamond. Yeah, man. If, if if that's one of the albums, hey, that... man, I got stabbed earlier today. What? Do you think? Yeah, do you think I should go to the doc? Can you look at this and just see if I should probably, yeah. if you, if I should go to the doctor? Or For not? sure. How, what happened? I don't know, man. I just kind of got into it with my landlord, and he's you kind fuck, of a, your landlord stabbed you. Yeah, so it, it's crazy, man. But you know, people are crazy these days. Let me see. Yeah, go ahead, take a look there. Holy. Oh yeah, the knife is still in there. Oh Sorry. my god! Yeah, Felix. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a big knife. Felix, you gotta go to the hospital. And don't take. Don't move the knife. Okay. Don't take it out. It could spurt. Okay. Don't. You should just stay right there. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the ambulance. Okay. Get it. Go ahead and call the ambulance. You, let's get calm too. Okay? okay. Stay calm. I'm staying calm. Go ahead and call the ambulance. Okay, I'm dialing right now. Okay. Okay. Hold on a second. Nine. One, one. Yeah. I like to say the numbers yeah. out loud. It's ringing. <laughs> hello, nine, nine, hello, 911. Yeah, we got an emergency. My friend's been stabbed. 
Uh, We're at the old record shop on on 17th Street, two. 241 17th Street. Uh, okay, man. I'll be over there, all right? Okay. Uh, it, one question, though. I This is uh, totally off topic, man. This morning, I um, accidentally drank, uh, you know, rubbing alcohol? Yeah? Yeah, I thought, it, I thought it was like mouthwash, and I drank it. I don't. I can't see anymore. Do you think I can drive the ambulance? No. Is there someone else I could talk to? Uh, sh- uh hold on, man. Let me see. Hold on. The fucking what's up? The nine one one guy's drunk, dude. Hang on. Hey, this is uh, Stewart. I'm the Stewart. ambulance supervisor, man. I've got a complaint, but also my friend's been stabbed. Okay, we need help. We're on uh, 17th Street, 241 17th Street. Okay, okay, we'll head over there, man. Uh, wait, Why is everyone just fucking one, one a second, stoner in this man. town? One second. Let me. Do you mind if I ask you something, man? What? Look. Uh, you know, the, the driver, normal driver is blind now, and I get it. We probably shouldn't let him drive, but here's the thing. This morning I tried to do an ollie, and both my legs bent backwards. Um, like, it, I look like a W. Felix? It- Holy God. Hey, man, I think I'm, I'm dying, man. Oh, yeah. Felix. Hey. It's it's too late for Nine me, one, man. What? Yeah, I, I'm gonna go. Can I have your Neil Diamond? So I I don't think I should get in the ambulance either, right, no, man? No, if your legs are bro- yeah, I look like a W, man. That my <laughs> legs sticking up to each side. You're, that's I'm a like cartoon. the middle part of a W. That's a cartoon. I'm I waddle on my knees to get Absurd. everywhere. <laughs> Right, this is just today, man. Why did you go into work? Because, because, uh, because uh, he said he got blinded by the, by the rubbing alcohol, man. So I was like, oh, I gotta do something. But then, shouldn't have done that, Ollie. Uh, who's that? I think someone just came in and saw my. And saw your friend, Dad. Friend. I'm so sorry, man. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this suggestion is. Beach volleyball. Where are we? Um, we are in a school gymnasium. Okay, great. Listen to me. If you kids ever want to play professional volleyball or even volleyball at a competitive level, you're going to have to shape up. You understand me? Uh, I... I Jesus. don't even know <laughs> what this kid. voice. Yeah. You love it. The worst kid <laughs> voice I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> this is a kid voice. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know if I want to be a professional base bat, volleyball player. I'm seven. I want to be an astronaut ninja. Great. You want to be an astronaut ninja? First, you got to learn how to play volleyball at a competitive level, and that'll teach you some things about life. Did you play competitive volleyball? Yeah, that you're damn right I did, and I blew out my knee. Uh, at the semifinals. Can I ask, are you just trying to live vicariously through us kids? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Well, as long as you're honest, we'll do it! Volleyball montage, 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 volleyball montage. Wow, you guys did it. You won the competitive championship. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you. You know, in the end, I realized that I never needed to win at volleyball. I just needed to teach you how to do it. Um, um, yeah. Anyways, anyways uh, that, that was a really, really fun, uh, section of my, my life. Can I give you one last piece of advice? Sure. sure. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Buy Bitcoin. I'll, I'll buy, buy some, some coins. coins. No, you fucking kids. <laughs> Stupid. All right. This next suggestion is art gallery. Where are we? <laughs> Your suggestions are location. I know, so you have to figure something out. Uh, okay. Uh, we are um, on a spaceship. Okay. Look. Hold on a second, spaceship. Uh, 
First mate Tenard, isn't that the most amazing view you've ever seen in your life? I could not agree more, Captain. It's hard to imagine that 43 billion humans are on planet Earth systems right now. At nominal levels. And we're watching them. Yeah, I sure. Uh, I can wish I, we had uh, can I ask remembered a to fill up the gas tank. <laughs> we don't have gas? What do, you, what, do you, what do you think we've just been yelling to each other about? I thought that was, uh, I thought that was about our farts. Captain, uh, I would love to say it's been an honor serving you, but it has not. You clearly became a captain through some sort of... My dad was a captain. That's what I figured. And, uh, I mean, to be honest... A uh, good one, too. Yeah. Well, looks like uh, you didn't get those genes. You know, the crew is dead. It's just you and me. Cooling systems at nominal levels. I've got a question for you. Sure, go ahead. What does nominal mean? Nominal? Yeah. Because uh, that computer keeps saying <laughs> nominal levels. It means uh, uh, the the best level. The, the best. best. Yeah. So I'm doing something right. Well, the cooling systems are at nominal I'm doing levels, something right. But we don't have any gas. We're floating to our deaths. But we're cool. I guess so. Trajectory. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's the year 2514. Right uh, that's correct. And we're using gas. Oh, uh, yeah. We have a gas-powered spaceship. Yeah, we when we discovered that planet, Arrakathon. Right. And uh, took all their gas. <laughs> well, we fr we Murdered. saved them from their their uh, dictator, <laughs> and it just so happened that they had some extra gas to spare. That we were. Did they have it to spare? They wanted to sell it to I us. I mean, but that's we what they told me it. in school. Cooling systems <laughs> at nominal levels. There it is again. So, Captain, when you saw the big E on uh, the computer at your captain's chair. What, what just made it. you just, what did, were you thinking? I thought it was taking us to earth. E. E for earth. Earth. Has it, have, hmm. Pretty smart, huh? <laughs> no, a, the opposite of that. What do you mean? Um, I'm gonna take this laser gun here and uh, blow my brains out. We have laser guns and we're still using gas. Well, it's the cheap, It's it, we wouldn't have, but we found some cheap stuff. Anyways, uh, tell my family I, I love them if you somehow miraculously survived this, but I don't think you I'm will. Take the escape pod. What? We <laughs> have an escape pod? Yeah. Oh, okay, what? Well, yeah, <laughs> let's just in. get in. Yeah, sure. Okay, it's... hold on a second. Let's get in here. Here we go. All right. Okay. And, I guess. Uh, do you want me to sit on your lap or you on my lap? Uh, yeah. Why don't Why don't we? Why don't there we, are two chairs, but I prefer we. Yeah. Well, let's <laughs> sit in the chairs. I don't know. No. Let's chair. Let's do lapses. Okay. All right. I'm here the captain. Go. Okay. Fine. I don't just push the okay, escape button. You're in my lap. Then. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right. Eject. Here we go. Okay. Oh my God! We're on the attack. It's the Iraqis. Uh, well, serves us right. And we're dead. That's us. That's us. We're dead. We're dead. All right. This next suggestion is a secret recipe. It's a smidge of cumin. cumin. Oh, where are we? Where? <laughs> where are we? Where are we're, we're in a kitchen. In we're in a kitchen. We're, and we're, we're filming it. We're filming. We're a, in a kitchen. Yeah, but we're filming a um a cooking show. Oh, so okay. we're two got camera in so, a okay, kitchen, you know, it, a studio it, kitchen. It. Yeah. Okay. All right. Welcome back to Cooking with Steve. It's a pinch of cumin and then you're grooving. Oh man. So Steve, what are we making here today? Today we're gonna make some uh um cornbread. Oh, okay. Uh, what do we got here? We got some cornmeal and uh, some flour and yep. Uh, and what else we got? Uh, first of all, you're gonna throw that out. We don't even need it. Okay. We're gonna take this pre-packaged. Oh God. Uh, no, no. Corn we bread. talked about this, Steven. It's gonna be. You have nicer. to actually make something. It's gonna on a be nice. Show. No, we're gonna be able this, to talk more. I don't want to talk. We want a cooking show, Steven. This we're gonna cook, Steven. It calls for two eggs. Steven, what are you gonna, where are you gonna get those? I. Did you not buy the food? Yeah, you're going to have to go to the fridge and get two eggs. 
I'm opening the fridge. There's no eggs, Steven. What are you talking about? You didn't buy eggs. What are you doing here then? What's the point of you? I'm the co-host. Right. Isn't the co-host supposed to get the ingredients? You're like a sous chef. No, you're th- everything else. Everything else what? Folks, we'll be back when, uh, I guess we won't be back. Probably not. Yeah. All right. And, and we're back. final suggestion oh. is uh, late. Uh, this is going to be a busker musician. Great. So we're, where are we? Um, we're um, we're in um, Italy. Okay. Like in Rome, the streets yeah, yeah, yeah. of Rome. Ah, uh, beautiful Italy. So happy I'm here. Ah, uh, tourist. Oh, hey. Hey. Wow, you speak perfect English. I come here. Uh, oh, your accent appeared. Uh, okay, hey, what's up? No, there's no accent. That's not an accent? No. Uh, I, you know what? I'm not going to reach too far into okay. this. Okay. Uh, what do you got here? What's, Are you a tourist? Uh, yeah, just um, visiting ah. for the weekend. Would you like a picture of you yourself? Would you like a painting? Oh, you you're a painter. Yes, I'm doing a painting. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll take a I'll, I'll take a painting. I Go put ahead. you in the painting. Okay. Are you a fan of Where's Waldo? Um, yeah. Cause I went to school with that guy. <laughs> Is that? Are you gonna do something I like think, Where's Waldo guy? What? No, no, no. I do landscape. Oh, you're just telling me you went to school. Yes. With that? Everybody oh, okay. loves cool. those books. Yes. Everybody yeah. loves those books. And you're not Italian. Me? Well, why do you ask? Okay. Just keep... I'm Italian. Okay. Full-blooded. Oh, jeez. Full... My mom Let's Italian. Say, I wish I hadn't gone down My this. Just daddy tell, Italian. Just draw your painting and hand it to My me. My two parents Italian. Okay. Daddy. All right. Is this me? Okay. Is that you? Yeah, you That's painted a mountain. me? That's a mountain. Oh, where I am do I? do landscapes. So where am I? Who said you were going to be you in You said it? you were going to put me in the painting. Yeah, I'm going to. Where? Hang on, I gotta draw the landscape. Oh no, can you only draw landscapes? This is beautiful Italian landscape. <laughs> Isn't it? Look, look. Have you been to the countryside? Mm-hmm. Have you been? Are you traveling alone? Uh, I am. No. What do you mean, no? No. What? A beautiful man like yourself. Okay, look, I'm getting uncomfortable. Just Come on. Just Draw me into the landscape. I will landscape. draw you once you take your shirt off. Can you draw people? Take your shirt off. I bet off. you can't draw I people. I can't see a body until I see I'm not shirt. taking my shirt Come off. Come on. I'm not, not taking my shirt Come off. Come on. I'm not taking Please. my shirt off. Please. No. I'll draw you with a shirt. I just need to see what I'm putting inside the shirt. I'm <sighs> I'm an artist. Do you know when, when Jean-Pierre drew Waldo, he, it was based on a naked mime? But then Jean Pierre added the clothes to Waldo. How much For is the, this gonna cost me? This two lira. Lira? I two, thought you guys use euros now. We do. I need lira though. <laughs> okay. I, I all gambling. I don't, an old gambling debt. They, they won't own, take euros? No, it's lira. <laughs> okay. Uh, me. I mean good luck with that. I only have euros. Uh maybe I can for do, okay. Take your shirt off. I'm not taking my Come shirt on. off. You're making me very uncomfortable. Come on. I'm not taking my please, shirt off. Please. Please. Look at me. Yeah. I'm looking I'm at you. I'm old, uh-huh. old Italian painter. Yeah. Busking on the street. Yeah. Try. So you are Italian. Did I say that? <laughs> yes, yeah. You just I said did. you're Italian. My par- I said before my parents were Italian. All right. Both. All right, I'm taking off my shirt. Thank you. Uh, yep. Oh my God! You're breaking glass. Yeah, my shirt was made of glass. Holy moly, that's weird. That's why I didn't want to take it off. It's just you wearing a glass shirt all day. Yeah, well, yeah. Now it's obviously smashed. Why on way earth? To get off. Why? It's the newest. It's that's the coolest, a style. Yeah, it's the coolest style where I'm from. Where are you from? Portland, Maine. Uh, that makes sense. Oh, you know Portland. I Maine. grew up in an area of Italy. And I went to. I don't even believe that. I went to school. I don't believe you grew up anywhere in Italy. You don't believe I. No. I don't. Why not? You're. I I mean, I'm not one to judge accents, but this is a A perfect Italian (laughs) accent. (laughs) 
Why don't you take your shirt off? Me? Yeah, go ahead. Take you it off. You don't want to. Come on, take it off. No, you don't want Yeah, you got to. me to take mine you off. You don't well take yours off. it. No, take yours off. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Have you ever seen an Italian man without a shirt? I mean, go ahead. Take it off. Are Let's you see. ready? Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, you were wearing a glass Holy shirt also. What? That's why I had trouble sitting in chairs. Because of the glass shirt that you I forgot know, you were? Yeah. Oh, jeez. It'll be two lira. Here you go. Thank you. You had lira the whole time. Um, all right, Andrew. Um, what's a job that you never want to do? I never want to clean porta potties. Got it. Great. Uh, and why not? Just gross. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why right. don't I want it? Yeah. Oh, because the retirement plan's not good? Uh, yeah, because it's um, gross. So you are the most successful. You are massively successful porta potty cleaner. Okay. And now you're giving a commencement speech to uh, everybody at uh, uh, Yale. So good, let's, e yeah. good evening. Good evening. Can everyone hear me? Good evening. Can everyone hear me in the back? Congratulations. Congratulations on wasting a bunch of money, you Ivy League douchebags. That's right. Y'all threw away uh, four years of a bunch of money, because let me tell you, a little hard work and a little elbow grease could have gotten you a long way. I'm Mark Campbell, and I'm telling you, I clean porta potties for a living. Hey, hey, uh, Mark, can you not? It's me, the dean. Can you not tell them to? I mean, they're graduating. Let's just keep it positive. Great. Spend a bunch of years working jobs, if that's what you want, okay? But let me tell you, sometimes you've got to go to the low of the low, okay? And that's what happened to me when my wife left. I didn't know what to do. You said you weren't going to mention your wife. I, but here you said. I'm just, sorry. Just, just finish. But then you said, talk to them. I, what did I you say? I can't. This is the first commencement speech I've ever interrupted. Just, just go. I'm and sorry. And now twice. So I should or should not talk about my. Talk wife. about whatever you want. Just. My wife was beautiful. Oh man. I ruined it. I used to come home smelling like shit every day. <laughs> She, what? <laughs> no, I know. I'm sorry. I was cleaning porta potties. <laughs> she couldn't handle it. So she left me. Married the guy next door on a potpourri business. Mm -hmm. God, I miss her. Mark, Jenny. did you prepare anything? What? Yes. Of, sorry. Yeah. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Look, you start with one porta potty. This is how you do it. You start with one porta potty and you do a really good job, okay? And it's gonna take some, you know, you gotta really put your hands into it and stuff. And sometimes you don't have anywhere to put all the poop. So you gotta come up with a place to put all the poop. For in, I bought a couple barrels that I could keep in my yard. And I put, if, if you gotta store, stuff there anyway once you got one off the ground then you get two porta potties am i being played off uh, no it's some inspirational music sorry god oh, it's all right once you get two then you you just keep increasing it it's standard i guess you could do this with any business actually it doesn't have to be porta potties mark have you ever heard a uh uh, commencement speech before in my life. Yeah, I did not go to college. Well, I mean, if you, but you, you know, there's like ones on YouTube you could just have you what? To. You haven't heard of YouTube? YouTube? No. Oh boy. What's YouTube? Just finish up. I'm sorry. Anyway, thanks for the two hundred thousand dollars to give you this commencement. Jesus, speech. Mark. What? You don't tell. Don't tell them how much. They... I'm getting two hundred thousand buckos. What? Oh, sorry. 
You all right, all right. stupid Ivy Leaguers. Okay, all right, everybody you calm down. Assholes. All right, he, he, Mark, okay. You're a bunch of assholes. All right, Mark, get You're out just of here. like my ex-wife. Oh, God. Boo. That's what she used to say Mark, to me. Mark, get off the stage. Right now? Yes. Yeah, I'm supposed to talk for two hours, I thought. I, nobody wants you to. I was supposed to do a two-hour commencement. You didn't, don't even know what a commencement speech is. You started talking about the, the ins and outs of a porter potty business. Yeah, so you were listening. Yeah, I was. I had to. Glad. Did any of it sink in? No. Once you have one off the ground, what do you do? You get two. <laughs> See? All right. You're right. Thank Proved you. Me wrong. Meet me at the bar. I'm buying drinks. Oh. Oh, thank you, Mark. Mark Campbell. And now we're going to introduce all the students. Our valedictorian coming to the stage right now is Shindy Show Show. Hello. Hello. Shindy, come on up stage. Thank you so much. It's so amazing to be here. Congratulations to all my fellow students graduating. I love you. I love you guys. I love you so much. Being um, being at the top of the class has meant so much to me. Um, I've worked so hard to be here. I really hope everyone is going to come to my party afterward. All right, Shindy. Um, because last time I had a party, uh, people okay, should pe- people end up should not coming. Wrap, wrap it up. Okay, uh, I think you guys know where I live. I live um, above Lulu's. The, oh my god! The, the All right, Shindy. Thank you, Shindy, our valedictorian. Thank you. Goodbye. Starting Thank at you. seven, but come on, okay. whenever. All right, and finally, our salutatorian. Kev Kev. Yo, what's up? <laughs> this has been awesome. Harvard is awesome. I love you guys. I'm the coolest. Uh, catch me at the basketball courts. I'm not on the basketball team, but I play intramural, and that's pretty cool. I do drugs, and I drink. All right, all right, all right, all right, Kev Kev. What? I hang out with you guys, and that's fun. We have a good time. Uh, Thanks for the two hundred thousand dollars. Oh up. Jesus! Drink at the bar. <laughs> Man, Yale, Yale is Yale is going downhill. It, was it Yale? Yeah, I thought it was Harvard for some reason. I mean, same diff, right? It's here. Where can people find you online? Uh, TikTok and Instagram at Andrew Yerman Glasser. Nice, nice. Um, thank you so much for being a guest here on the show. Of course, this has been the Rob Stern Show. Everybody's dancing. Everybody's angry. The Rob Stern Show. Everybody's the Rob Stern show. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. His name is Stern, but he is nice. His name is Rob, but he doesn't steal. What is this, a web of lies? The show is a web of lies.